All right, ladies and gentlemen, Fab's in the house. And today I'm in the house with this beauty right over here. This is the Sharp by Design uh, Evo Typhoon uh, designed by Brian Ado, made by Riyadh Knives in China. And we're gonna analyze the look, the sound and the feel of this guy. But uh, hey, don't forget to like the video and to subscribe to the channel if you're enjoying this kind of content. So let's see how big this guy is. Uh, overall length of this bad boy is gonna be around 8.5 inches with a uh, overall four inch long blade, but cutting edge is gonna be 3.5 inches and a handle is gonna be around four 4.6 inches long. And let's see how this guy is comparing up against uh, some of the classic options that uh, I'm showing you, uh, you during this size comparison or Terrier Red number one and Ontario Red number two. They are both uh, uh, on the opposite uh, sides of this guy because uh, the one is bigger and the two is smaller. So pretty simple. Uh, also, you got here Benchmade uh, Bug Out and Benchmade Mini Bug Out. And as you can see, this is bigger than both of these two options. Uh, like, for example, if you check the um, um, Spyderco Para 3 and the Spyderco Paramilitary 2, you're gonna notice that the Paramilitary 2 is pretty much the same size as the uh, Evo Typhoon and of course uh, uh, the Para 3 is just uh, smaller, like it's smaller, the Chris Reeve Knives small Sebenza 21 and uh, large Sebenza 21 also by Chris Reeve Knives is pretty much the same size of the Evo Typhoon. Another couple options from Shikogorov. This is the Neon R20 and of course beautiful EDCable size, smaller than that and the F95 Nudist Slim, it's larger than the Evo Typhoon. I just want to show you another couple more here that we have in the house. This is the Win Knives uh, uh, Gava, very very cool option from uh, by by Win Knives uh, right there. And uh, what can I show you else? Of course, I'm gonna show you uh, the haptic from Blade uh, Old Blade Work Spectre. And if you want to see something also carbon fiber, uh, but it's a little bit smaller. Of course, this is the Chris Reeve Knives uh, um, Nandi. And let me show you just a couple of beasts. Uh, this is the custom knife factory uh, muscle right there, Tashi Barusha designed and uh, let me show you another beast right there, look at this big boy, this is the Todd Beck Knives uh, uh, Steel Craft Series Bodega and uh, just another couple because we have them here, this is the Roy Custom um, Hostile Intent, uh, very very cool carbon fiber option and uh, that is pretty much it. Uh, I wanted to show you maybe uh, just uh, just another couple here because we have them in the house. This is the um, Alliance Design uh, Mini Slim Pickens and uh, also we can show you this beautiful Skiff Knives uh, Drifter. So you have an idea of the overall size of this uh, uh, Typhoon. So. Uh, this is a nice one guys, uh, designed by Brian Ado, made by Riyadh, $375, uh, more or less made in China. It is a fantastic uh, titanium frame lock with uh, a carbon fiber inlays, inlaid, uh, inlay, sorry, that is has been inlaid uh, to perfection. Riyadh is great in doing like this seamlessly, like gaplessly uh, looking and feeling inlays. It's just uh, stratospheric, it's fantastic. Uh, in my books, this is really, really great job. The handle is nicely contoured, beautiful 3D milling going on. Absolutely cool chamfering going on all the way around on the outside and on the inside. Uh, there is no internal skeletonization on these two titanium slabs. Yes, because these are two scales. It kind of looks like an integral, like if you see like from here, but if you get it close, you're gonna see the seam uh, like going around. So these are two slabs that put them together and look at that. It, it, it's just gorgeous, nicely, nicely done. Uh, there's uh, basically no standoffs and no backspacer because of the uh, design of these two scales. Uh, 3D milled to perfection, really, really cool. You've got a one finger groove right here for your index finger, which is gonna feel uh, very good, comfortably in place like that. And then you have a lanyard solution with a, made with a pin, just like a, some milled out area and a pin, so you can just slide in your paracord or whatever, and you can use your lanyard pretty 
really easily. Uh, tip is very safe. Uh, you can you can maybe just touch it a little bit if you jam your finger in it, but like that is absolutely safe. No risk to get snagged uh, on it. So pretty much good to go. Overall look when closed is very sleek. I like uh, this part of the blade uh, protruding from the uh, profile of the handle, of course, and uh, it, it's nicely designed. Overall, well balanced, I have to say. It looks pretty sleek to, if you ask me. Um, you have a very, very pointy uh, flipper tab uh, sticking out uh, uh, like a little bit. So, I mean, you still can do the push button option, but probably it's more advisable to just do like a light switch like in this direction because of your natural uh, conformation of your uh, the fingertip so uh, there's no jimping going on just a little bit of chamfering around so that's uh, pretty much good to go uh, you have uh a um, um, non protruding hardware even if it's you see there's a little bit of uh, uh, curvature like you see right here it's not like flush with the with the scale but the actual screw is flush with the with the with the part around it so it's a cool solution um it's uh, employing like a t8 torx bit screw to take it uh, down and you have basically a very very clean uh, look show side with no visible screw except for the uh, pivot and on the other side you're gonna have one screw which is long and going it's going through and screwing into the directly into the titanium um, to keep uh, the knife assembled and it's gonna be a breeze to take it apart really really easy uh, you have uh, an interesting detent. This is an integral detent, uh, similar to the Holt uh, one. Um, basically, there's no detent ball. You have just one uh, stainless steel lock face insert with the integral uh, detent ball, which in this case, it's not a ball. It's like more like a triangular rounded off shape, which is very, very good because uh, it's gonna be serving as detent ball ramp. As you can see, you see like there's no hard step and it's gonna be seamlessly helping the blade to get in the closed position. So really clever uh, solution right over here. Um, you have uh, some external um, lock bar relief, which is covered by the um, carbon fiber inlay on the lock side. Very, very nice. Keeps the design very, very clean. Um, you have, of course, like a 3D mil titanium uh, pocket clip tip up carry only. It's not reversible. It's very, very good. Uh, good um, uh, clip ramp, not too much. It's going to keep uh, low the hotspots for sure. And it's uh, actually kind of like a deep carry this much is gonna stick in out it's gonna be sticking out uh, from your pocket so it's uh, it's good to go in my books nice um, also you've got uh this blade absolutely sterile looking you have just the brian nado logo right over here in the flipper tab but the, the, there, there's nothing going on on the, on the actual blade you have some nice jimping very good spacing in the jimping there is like a dual tone finish in the grooves you can see it's darker and uh, satin finish on the spine nice swedge going on right starting right here up right after the end of the jimping and going right away to the tip um, parallel with this uh, beautiful fuller uh, which uh, has been uh I think bead blasted on the inside so it gives a nice contrast uh, um, to the blade and you have of course your tanto and just straight edge up to the sharpening choil and you have a beautiful hollow grind look at the, those belt marks right there it gives an, a nice contrast to the blade and of course wide sharpening choil with this classic brand um flipper tab a little bit too pointy if you ask me uh, but it's it's very good uh, the grind is perfectly symmetrical, uh, edge also is uh, symmetrical, it's nicely done, I have to say that, it's, uh, it's very very good. You have also, as I said, you know, nice, um, nice jimping on the blade with a good traction for sure. Um, the sound this guy makes, nice and clacky, beautiful, it's a little bit on the loud side, when you open it but it's solid it's clean it's kind of dry i like it 
really really cool um, also what it, what it's actually really cool is the weight because it's not that uh, much even if there's no internal skeletonization this guy is gonna weigh in at 4.04 ounces which is pretty good for a 3.5 3.6 uh, um, inch long blade so very very nicely done uh, zero hot spots in the blade in the handle you don't feel any sharp edges it actually feels really good in the hand um, lock release is pretty good uh, to disengage because it's not symmetrical there's this part protruding no jim jimping uh, going on over here but still it's sticking out so very easy to disengage of course there's an over travel stop bar integrated in the um, stainless steel lock face uh, insert slash uh, de integral detent very good solution um, you can actually uh, do a reverse grip and uh, like that because the handle is long enough for you to feel it comfortable in the hand because it feels solid it's slippery there's no texturing going on uh, over here so it's a little bit slippery but the grip is good it's solid it, it feels uh, actually sturdy and reliable reliable in the hand um, fit and finish I said is just uh, second to none there's no gaps no misalignment everything is absolutely flush zero rattling when closed no blade play um, if you stick with the uh, light switch there's not gonna be any finger soreness in your uh, de during your deployment if you do like push button yeah you might have some issues but just don't um, the clip ramp also has a nice uh, uh, stiffness to it uh, it's uh, it's strong uh, uh, retention for sure and uh, of course this guy is running on bearings uh, uh, deployment speed is absolutely fast uh, opening action is smooth closing action is there's no guillotine effect just like gliding smooth as long as you uh, as soon as you disengage the lock bar the blades wants to shut down sh uh, shut close but you're gonna need a little bit of a wiggle to get it in the closed position so really really good and controlled closing action um, also uh, detent strength is on the medium strong side so no uh, risk uh, whatsoever for unintentional deployment and uh, you're gonna have a very nice also magnetic effect uh, with the detent suction when closing the blade so i mean overall this is a very very cool looking knife with a great ergonomics and awesome sound and the price is uh, right i think because 375 bucks for this uh, uh, kind of uh, detail attention attention to detail and material employed uh, it's pretty good to go in my books so there you have it hope you guys enjoyed this video please don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching stay tuned